Welcome to the channel. And if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering, where should I stay for the 84th Sturgis Motorcycle Rally? Well, buckle up, because the answer is not as simple as you might think. So before we even get into the different types of accommodations there are during the rally, let's talk about location. If you're brand new to the Sturgis experience and maybe you started looking around at prices and potential lodging, you might not understand just how large this rally is and the area that it encompasses. I mean, we're talking several different counties, multiple different states. So you don't have to stay in downtown Sturgis. And believe me, if you do, you're gonna spend a pretty penny, all right? So I kind of think there's about three zones that we're gonna focus on, and then we're gonna expand upon from there. The first ring we're gonna start with is the central ring. If you want to have the best bang for your buck, you really wanna experience the nightlife and the rally and the excitement, then obviously you wanna stay in the central ring. But buckle up, because it might cost you a little bit of a pretty penny. The central ring, obviously, is going to be centered around Sturgis itself, and you can stay in downtown Sturgis. There's hotels, motels, Airbnbs, you could even camp downtown. Moving out from Sturgis, still within the central ring, Next, you're gonna have Deadwood, South Dakota, which in and of itself is its own attraction. I mean, if you go to Sturgis, you pretty much have to go visit Deadwood. And staying in Deadwood could potentially cost you a pretty penny as well. All right? It's basically a big casino town, and well, if you've ever stayed at a casino before, you know how that works. Now, not very far from Deadwood, not very far from Sturgis, and still in that central ring is gonna be Spearfish, South Dakota. And a lot of people decide to stay there. Spearfish has it all too. They have camping, they have hotels, they have motels, and quite a few people decide to move up that way. And they keep it a little more on the quiet side during the rally, which if that's what you're into, great. But you're not a very far ride away from the action. One more place that stands out in the central ring that I want to talk about quick, and that is Nemo, South Dakota. I've never personally stayed in Nemo, but I've passed through there a bunch of times. It is not a very large town, all right? And keep in mind, most of these towns aren't. But compared to Deadwood and to Spearfish or even Sturgis, Nemo is pretty small. But they do have what looks like some very interesting camping spots. And I've never stayed there personally, but I've always been slightly jealous because Nemo kind of sits center in Van Ocker Canyon. So every time you leave Nemo, whether you're going to Rapid City to maybe go to Black Hills Harley Davidson, or you're going to Sturgis to go downtown and do the rally thing, you pretty much have to ride through Van Ocker Canyon, and that's pretty beautiful. So being in the central ring and very close to all the action, you also get a really neat ride right off the bat. If we push out a little bit further, we get into the second ring. And the second ring is still a great place to stay for the rally. Locations inside the second ring are gonna be Rapid City. Rapid City might be the choice for you because it has the most accommodation out of all of them. I mean, it is a small city and it's very beautiful. It's also the location of the airport. So if you have guests that are flying in or hey, maybe you're flying in and renting a bike yourself. Rapid City kind of has everything and anything you'll need. Not to mention they have some really great dining options. And don't even get me started on Sturgis Rally food because we're gonna cover all that in a different video. Rapid City is also home of Black Hills Harley-Davidson. I mean, Black Hills Harley-Davidson is like its own attraction during the rally, having a huge amount of vendors. This is the dealership to go if you want to buy a Sturgis Rally Edition motorcycle, and it's kind of a must stop for all rally goers. Now, you are a little further away from Sturgis if you're staying in the Rapid City area or anywhere in this third tier, but that has its pros and its cons. Let's talk about some of the other locations within the second ring. Keystone, South Dakota. Keystone is home of Mount Rushmore. This is gonna be a must destination during your rally experience. So if you stay there, you're even closer to that. And you're really not that far away from the rally or Rapid City or the riding. 
depending on what you want to achieve from your rally experience, maybe you want to just go party, maybe you want to ride, maybe you want to do a mix of both. If you are solely focused on the riding experience, staying in this second ring is a great option because you're pretty much in the middle or the heart of the riding experience. And in any direction you go from your stay, it's very easy to pick up a breathtaking view or ride. Another spot in the second ring is gonna be Hill City, South Dakota. And when you roll into Hill City during the rally, you swear it is Sturgis, South Dakota. They have just as much rally action as any of the other small towns in the area. If you haven't noticed quite yet, this rally takes place over a large area. The last ring we're gonna discuss is the third ring, okay? This is for the individuals who want to go to Sturgis, but want to give themselves a little bit of distance from the big party experience. They don't mind rolling into the party once or twice during their stay, but they don't need it every night. This is gonna be locations like Custer, South Dakota, or Hewlett, Wyoming, maybe even Wall, South Dakota. One thing all these places have in common each of these little towns in that third ring have must-see destinations. Devil's Tower near Hewlett, Wyoming. The Badlands and Wall Drug Store in the town of Wall, South Dakota. Not to mention the Crazy Horse Monument and Custer State Park near Custer, South Dakota. Well, now that you know about the different locations to stay, let's talk about how to stay. There's lots of options there. You have hotels, motels, you have Airbnbs, and then you have camping. And camping has its own categories. There's your traditional, bring a tent in on your motorcycle, pitch a tent and camp. Then there's staying in a cabin. There's renting your own tent, glamping. There's renting a camper. You name it, there's multiple different ways to camp. So let's start at what I know the least about hotels and motels. I personally have never stayed in a hotel or a motel during my rally experience, but the one thing I do know is they get pricey. Now, depending on which ring you stay in, eh, it could determine the different level of cost, but you're probably talking at least two, maybe even $300 per night. Now, maybe you're going with a whole pack of people and you could afford a little bit more money, but you want more room. Well, Airbnb might just be your option. You see the locals in South Dakota caught on to this quite a while ago, and they discovered how much money they can make during the rally. There are a lot of Airbnb options, and some of them are fantastic. Okay, I know a lot of people that stay in Airbnbs out there. I've done it myself. We did it last year, stayed in an Airbnb in Rapid City, and it was a great experience. It was a great place. I'd highly recommend it. But it only really makes sense if you're going in a large group. It does get pricey trying to rent out an entire house, sometimes even an entire complex. I mean, some of the things available to rent out there, multiple buildings, a whole garage, you name it. Now, let's say you are a little bit on the more frugal side, shall we? Or you're a traditionalist and you wanna go camping at the motorcycle rally. Nothing wrong with that. In my opinion, camping in Sturgis is great. It's a great rally experience and you get to meet some really interesting people. But when we're talking about camping at the rally, oh boy, there's a lot of different ways to do it. So let's talk about some of the campgrounds first. So to start off, let's talk about the big three. The big three is gonna be the Sturgis Buffalo Chip, Pappy Hoyle Campground, and Glencoe. And if you've never heard of any of those three, then you need to plan a trip to the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. To kick it off first, you have Pappy Hoyle Campground. It's located right next to the Full Throttle Saloon, world's largest biker bar. If you haven't heard of that, look it up. It's gonna be a place you wanna stop at during your rally experience, and they have a massive campground. The Full Throttle Saloon is part of the Pappy Hoyle Campground, and they do have concerts there. Not the biggest names during the rally, but some pretty good lineups nonetheless. But Pappy Hoyle is the furthest away from downtown Sturgis out of the three. And it's not far away. It's not that big of a ride, but it's just enough to make you feel like it's kind of far away. Now that might not be a big deal to you at all. 
but if you're maybe gonna take the bus into town or something of this nature, it's just a little bit extra of a ride. So next on the list is gonna be Glencoe, and Glencoe is pretty world famous, but I got a confession to make. I've never personally been inside Glencoe. I know, I know. I know a few of you just went, what? Believe me, I'm upset too. <laughs> I'm probably gonna try to change that this year. I've been trying the last few years, but sometimes the rally gets busy. Either way, I've heard the stories from Glencoe, and if you haven't heard the stories, well, let's just say they don't involve as much clothing as you might think. Glencoe is a true rally experience campground. They do have concert venues there, and you will see just about everything you expect out of a motorcycle rally. And not to mention, they have a prime location. Glencoe is actually kind of the closest to downtown Sturgis, and it's right next to the Buffalo Chip, one of the big gas stations out there, and you're just I don't know, a quarter mile away out of town. The last on the list of the big three, love it or hate it, it's gonna be the Sturgis Buffalo Chip. I've stayed at the Sturgis Buffalo Chip in the past myself. I've had a great time. It has its pros and its cons. If you want as much of a party as you can get and you want some of the best concert lineup for the entire rally, the Buffalo Chip is your spot, but buckle up because it costs a little bit of money. And when I say a little bit, I kind of mean a lot of it, considering you are gonna be doing some pretty old school rally camping. It's not a bad time, but you gotta be ready for that experience. If you are not ready for it, maybe take a pass. Now, don't get confused, there's not just three campgrounds. Actually, there's, there's a lot. Uh, I don't even know how many I could list. You know what, let's try that quick. How many campgrounds can I list? Well, you have uh, Hogs Heaven, then you have Kathmandu, uh, Shade Valley Campground, Ride and Rest, Lampier Campground, Van Ocker Canyon Campground. There's a lot of camping accommodation. Those are just a few I know off the top of my head, but what I'm saying is, people will try to tell you that, oh, if you haven't booked for Sturgis five, six months, a year in advance, you're never gonna get a spot. That's not true. There's always room there. There is so much accommodation. Whether you wanna stay in a hotel, motel, an Airbnb, camping, there's room there. In one of those three rings, you will find a place to stay. And if you stay in one of those three rings, you will have a fantastic time. There is no bad place to stay. In fact, depending on what you wanna do for the rally, if you haven't got the gist in this video, you might wanna stay a little further away from Sturgis than you may initially think. You know, one of the things I always find funny is when you go to the rally and it's a whole bunch of uh, motorcycle people, you know, and you're riding around and then you see like some family that's just trying to have a family vacation. <laughs> And they thought, oh, we'll be safe because we're 40 miles away from the Sturgis. You know, we won't see any bikers. Wrong. <laughs> Very wrong. Uh, motorcycles take over that entire state, all right? And I've always sometimes kind of felt a little bad for those people, but hey, it, it's a little fun. My suggestion would be don't do too much research. Most of these places are really awesome places to stay. All the places I've stayed at, never once at the same spot, and I've never once had a regret. They've all been great for different reasons. So, just book something and go. There's one other thing I'd like to say, a little bit of a stigma that I'd like to solve right here, right now. If you're looking into the Sturgis Rally and you're thinking to yourself, that's a lot of miles away from home, I can't get the time off, I need to trailer my bike there, I don't have the time to ride all the way out, or maybe you don't feel confident riding all the way out, that's okay. Because I could tell you, there is just as many people, if not more, that trailer their motorcycles to Sturgis as there are people who ride. Now I ride because I particularly enjoy the ride, but I have trailered in the past I have done the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally different ways. I think the first year there, we trailered out. The reason we trailered out was I couldn't get a lot of time off of work and I knew I couldn't ride 25 hours straight to Sturgis, but hey, I thought I could drive 25 hours to Sturgis. If you haven't realized, I'm on the road. 
I am on the road and I am trying my best to keep up on content for you guys. I am extremely busy. For those of you who have been waiting for my Sturgis videos, I apologize. I know I said once a week and I'm, I'm right on the verge of once a week. I'm hoping to have this one out at the week mark. But if not, I am sorry. I travel quite a bit for work. If you don't know, I'm a motorcycle safety instructor. So I get to travel around my home state and teach people to become safer riders and bring new riders into our community. It is a joy of my life to get to do it. But it does keep me very, very busy. So I am trying my hardest to make more time for you guys. And I can promise you one thing, that if you make the journey to Sturgis, I will meet you there, book a stay, and I'll see you at the 84th Sturgis Motorcycle Rally or in the next video.